Hey everyone, welcome to Didactics Online. My name is Tara and Rob will be joining us shortly. Today we're going to be doing a video on pregnancy and OMT. Um, I'll be showing you guys a bunch of different techniques on how to treat a pregnant patient um, with a bunch of instructional steps. So, ready, set, go. Rob's here. <laughs> okay, come on Rob. So first thing we're going to show you is um, how to treat the thoracic spine in a pregnant patient. This is only one kind of treatment. So, um, Rob, oh, of course, we've got to make it pregnant. There you go. Rob's a good five-month pregnant patient. Um, normally, you can treat a pregnant patient anywhere from the start of pregnancy to the last day of pregnancy if they're about to deliver or have a C-section or whatever. So, um, no worries about that. All right, so we're going to treat Rob's thoracic spine. Um, if he had a segment that was rotated and side bent to the left, you could localize by rotating and side bending to that side and then um, doing the treatment. So I'll show you how it goes. So you're going to stick your hands under his arms and um, onto the back of his neck and you're going to have the patient put his hands over yours. Um, and then I'm going to have my patient bring his elbows in. Good. And then I'm going to step back and I'm going to let him lean. And then when I'm ready, so I'm carrying his weight right now. So when I'm ready, I'm going to say, Rob, drop your weight. And then I'm going to pick him up with a oh. thrust. That was a good <laughs> one, Tara. You got a couple up there. <laughs> so I'm going to pick him up with a thrust from uh, like my abdomen area to the segment that I want to localize at. So that's a good way to get the uh, mobilization of the thoracic spine. Um, okay. So next thing we're going to do is uh, bring Rob over here and I'm going to treat um, his abdomen with myofascial release. So Rob, can I get you on all fours please? Yep. So this is a really good treatment, um, especially later in the pregnancy when they've been carrying around this weight for so long and they're just like so exhausted. There's all these um, fascial strains going on because of their abdomen being so tight. So a nice way to treat that is to just pick up the pregnant belly Bring it up towards the back. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> um, you can take it in all the different planes. So I'm going to take it superior, inferior, away from me, towards me, counterclockwise and clockwise. I'll choose an indirect or direct um, way to do it. So if I'm going to do indirect, I'll take it to where it likes to go. So let's say superior, away from me, and counterclockwise. And I'm going to hold that, still holding up on his belly, her belly. If you were a girl. <laughs> um, so I would hold that for a couple minutes until I feel a release and then um, once I feel a release I can bring it down and then I can reassess. So bring that belly back up, reassess the motion, see what it, where it wants to go um, and really you can use it as a kind of way to like unwind all the fascia that's been so tight for so many months. Um, Alright, so let's have you on your back now. So this next thing I'm going to treat is the sacrum. Um, we have a sacrum video, but in a pregnant patient it's a little bit different because in, uh, in a regular person's spine, you're going to have a slight lordosis, kyphosis, and like lordosis up the spine. But, um, and you know, the, the sacrum kind of goes along with that lordotic curve. So there's not too much extreme motion going on. In a pregnant patient, that lordotic curve is kind of exaggerated because their center of gravity is pulled forward. So they're kind of pushed out at their um, lumbar region. And then their sacrum kind of follows that and goes into a bilateral flexion. So instead of it being um, more like this, it's kind of pulled forward. So to treat that, this is called the frog leg treatment. I would have Rob or the patient lie down on their back. Um, bring their knees up and put their feet together, okay? And then I could take my hand and put it under his sacrum. Before I do that, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be taking my hand against the sacrum that is pushed like this, and I'm going to be pushing up on the apex with the base of my hand, pushing up while simultaneously kind of scooping it down at the base, okay? So I'm going to put my hand under Rob's sacrum and have him drop his weight. Take a deep breath in, Rob, let it all the way out, and pull down as the patient brings their legs all the way down. Again, deep breath in, let it all the way out. I'm pushing up at the apex, pulling down on the base, and then you can do that a few times, three or four times, and you'll see that you get a lot of, uh, like a decreased lordosis and decreased flexion of that um, sacrum. 
Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is treat the pubes. A lot of um, pregnant patients, because of all those pulls from the abdominal muscles and everything, get um, pubic dysfunction. So um, I could treat the pubes with a shotgun technique by having the patient push together his knees against my fist for three to five seconds and then he can relax and then push out against my hands three to five seconds and relax. So you want to make sure that you don't do it all the way out here pushing out and pulling in because that kind of sends uh, like pulls the abdominal muscles too far up towards the baby. So you want to kind of keep it localized to the uh, pubic pelvic region, okay? Um, you can also treat the pelvis in a pregnant patient and it's almost exactly like a regular treatment for any other patient because um, as long as you don't push into the belly. So you can do muscle energy, um, BLT, LAS, any of the other treatments that we've shown you guys. So I'm not going to detail. I'm not going to go into detail about that. But I will show you guys a good psoas stretch. Um, Rob, if you lie down on your right side, um, the psoas muscle is just medial to the um, ASIS. And what I want to do is get that stretch because again, um, all the lordosis and the sitting and all these positions really create tension here. So I'm going to grab Rob's leg, kind of cradle his knee, and push his pelvis forward as I stretch that psoas. Ooh, that's a good stretch. <laughs> okay, so you can do that, hold it for a few seconds, and um, bring it back, do it on both sides. Um, Tara, is it safe for pregnant ladies to lie on the right side? Um, in this context, yes. As long as we're doing it just a few minutes at a time in treatment setting, it's fine. Um, the place where it gets a little bit uh, more risky is if the patient sleeps on the right side. So the patient wants to make sure not to sleep on the right side because they're compressing the IVC and that can be dangerous. So in this setting though, we're only going to have you here for a couple minutes, so no worries. All right, Good question. Okay, so the last treatment I'm going to show you guys is called the Chicago Roll. So in the Chicago Roll, what you want to do is you would diagnose with the patient lying down. Um, you're going to see which way the uh, spine is the spine is rotated. So if his lower segments or whatever were rotated to his right, I'm going to stand on the opposite side. I'm going to push his upper body away from me and his lower body away from me. So he's kind of in a smiley face configuration, smiling at me. I'm going to have Rob put his hands behind his neck like this. I'm going to um, monitor at his ASIS that's farthest away from me. Grab his arm and kind of do a little stretch. And in that stretch you get good articulation usually and mobilization of that lumbar spine. So you want to make sure not to really crank on a pregnant patient. You never want to do that. Um, so I just showed a good stretch. You can also use that as an HVLA technique, but in this case I would stick with um, just the stretch. So uh, join us on Didactics Online for more videos. Thanks so much for coming by and seeing us. And thank you, Rob, for being a great friend and patient. Ooh, no problem. Thanks, Tara. <laughs> and thank you guys all out at Kansas City Medical School. We appreciate all your comments and support on the website. Thank you.